With patch 12.12 in the wipe, we are entering a new era of Tarkov where the hideout is going to be more important than ever. With the restrictions on the flea market and the access limited to certain goods, you're going to need to be able to craft stuff to keep up with everybody else. Now, there have been some changes to the hideout, not a lot, but even veteran players can have a hard time remembering what they need to keep in order to get their hideout rolling and get upgrades going. That's exactly what this video is for. It's essentially a shopping list of what you need to keep to get all your modules to level one, most of your modules. We're not gonna talk about like Bitcoin farm or air filter, but all the basic stuff. And then talk a little bit about why the hideout's so important and what some of the stuff is in there that is super useful even at a low level. So for all the TLDR lovers out there, we'll put up a quick list just to show you what you need. So you can take a screenshot, write it down, do whatever you wanna do. There's even a little handy thing I'll show you in Tarkov that you can use to create lists that you can access while you're in raid. So starting off, you're gonna need seven bolts and seven screw nuts. There's four hoses required, four duct tapes, three matches, two relays, two bandages, a Leatherman, which you can buy that from Mechanic, a syringe, one pile of meds, one measuring tape, one cricket lighter, cricket lighter, cr crickets? Cricket, cricket, oh, Jiminy Cricket. Uh, one toilet paper, a toothpaste, a soap, a spark plug, a power cord, and then lastly, a total of 257,000 rubles across these. Uh, not every one of them needs rubles, but that's the total you're gonna need. Now, for this list, I'll show you what it is here real quick. Um, let me hop into my character screen. If you go to tasks, you got a thing here for notes. And you can see here, I have a list built up um, of stuff I'm keeping. And you can do this however you want. You can just type stuff in there. You could leave funny messages. It's all there for you to write whatever you want. And you can add uh, multiple notes up to 50. And each note has 1,024 characters. So use it as you want. You could label one for different tasks, everything you need to keep track of. Now, the hideout is a tool. You can use it or not, but if you do use it, it's going to make life so much easier, especially now. At the lower levels, it's it's more difficult to get utility out of it, but if you know what you're doing, it can really kind of boost your leveling as well as provide some access to hard to find quest items. Now, one thing I want to point out is you don't have to have power running in order to run your laboratory. As you can see, I have my power off right now and I'm crafting bandages. I do this to level my hideout skills. It's basically you can do it for essentially free almost free. I find stuff in raid, I craft, and then I can sell these and pretty much break even. Um, that was before the flea market changes though. So I'll, I'll get back to you on that if that's still the case. I'm testing right now, if you will. Everything else needs power. So if you shut off, if you start a craft and you shut off your generator, it will still craft. But the total time goes through the roof. This thing's been running for almost, I think 20, or I'm sorry, 10 hours now, and it's still not done. So we'll turn on the generator real quick because I have fuel in there and it was two hours now it's 12 minutes so you can see how big of an effect it has um and we'll get some other crafts rolling i'm gonna do pile of meds uh simply because they're cheap and i can sell these ai2s for the price less i can make money with the pile of meds selling the ai2s or break even which is just to help level my flea market rating uh, as well as uh level up hideout skills and then over at the workbench early crafting you can make money with wires for now probably circuit boards as well if you can get these components pretty cheap but i'm just sticking with wires for the time being so these are found in raid so i'm not going to use them but uh, what we'll do is we'll turn this sks into a, a, a weapon parts it's saying that because it's got ammo inside of it don't really care it's just ps ammo um if you want a nitty gritty you can do that and pull that out so that's going to start crafting and then what you can do is turn off your generator and it won't use up fuel so we'll turn this off switched off and these crafts will continue to roll but as you can see it takes substantially longer to craft uh but it's not burning power when i'm logged on i usually leave my generator running this and early wipe and then once i get my bitcoin farm running i'll just leave my generator going the whole time and just constantly stock it full of fuel so question is where do you find all of this stuff well it's a huge list so it's all over the place but there's a couple of good places to start off duffel bags and jaeger's caches they drop, they have huge loot pools. You can find almost all of these items in those two at some point in time. So they're great in that aspect, but they're also bad because the loot pool is so big, your chances of finding them are lower than some of the other stuff. So things like nuts and bolts or any kind of tool, you know, uh, with the exception of like relays, but you can find poses, duct tape, all of that stuff can show up in, in toolboxes. Uh, so focus those if that's what you're looking for. If you're trying to upgrade your med station, for example, or the laboratory, which has some kind of the medical items, soap and whatnot, um, you should be looking in med bags, med, med crates, the little orange ones, uh, med crates, which are the big boxy ones. There's three kinds. There's med crates, nutrition crates, technical supply crates. 
that's where you're going to be best bet to find syringes, even medical spawns, places where if you see a Salewa spawn out, a, a syringe can spawn there as well. Uh, so keep an eye out for those. Toothpaste is the same way, um, but it also shares some spawns with other things like soap and stuff that you might see. So uh, customs and interchange are great for these. Woods is good for medical items as well um, and food items and uh, parts, depending on what part of the map you loot. So th those are where you would find those things. I also did a video on all the caches on customs, so you can go check that out. It'll show you where everything's at. You can find them and loot through them because there's a couple of them that a lot of people don't know about. So that's it. That's the list. Um, if you guys want more specific guides on some of these items, let me down, know down below in the comments. We'll throw a video together trying to help if you're stuck finding things. I know everybody's kind of stuck finding gas analyzers. That's another monster right now because they're changing stuff. But uh, if you're having trouble with toothpaste or syringes, salewas, something like that, let me know. We'll do a, we'll do a guide to help you all out with those. But otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll see you in Tarkov.